Right, this is my uh, 2006 Toyota Corolla. <clears throat> and what I'm going to show you is um, I recently changed my battery because it was uh, it was failing uh, so it was uh, struggling to start the car so I had the battery changed and when I got the car back I realized that my uh, my windows weren't going up and down as they should be um, so let me just show you this I'm just switching the ignition to the on position <coughs> Excuse me, turn that off and that, so we don't get a copyright claim. Right, so um, I'm going to show you normally what would happen. Now, um, I've reprogrammed the driver's side just so that I can show you what happens. So normally, um, you have two options. The, the switch has two, two settings. So the first setting, on the first click, you can manually take the window down to any position you want. Okay, and up again, but that's just on the first click of the switch. If I was to press the switch all the way down and let go, it will take the window down all the way, like that. See, I'm not holding it. All the way down, and again, <clears throat> if I flick the switch up, there we go, it takes the window all the way up. So that's how all these windows should work, including the rears as well. When the battery's changed, um, it wipes the memory. So what you need to do, you need to reprogram the switches, <clears throat> or reprogram the memory of the car for the windows through the switches. And this works for a lot of um, Japanese cars. Like I say, I'm driving a Toyota Corolla uh, 2006 model. Um, you in America might call it a, 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 a Verso, I think they call it. Um, but uh, but yeah, so um, so essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to reprogram the switches. It only works from the driver's side. Again, if you're in America, it'll be on the left-hand side, obviously. Um, but it not only works for Toyota, it works for uh, lots of other Japanese cars, uh, some European models, and some American models, as far as I'm aware. Um, but uh, but yeah, essentially what we need to do is, so, so we go from the off position, you put your key in, and you switch your ignition to to on so that your, your lights and so forth are operating and then what you need to do is you need to um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to program the uh, the passenger side first because like I say I've already done the driver's side um, so you need to press and take the window all the way down but don't take your finger off the switch keep it pressed down once the window gets to the bottom you need to hold it for in this particular case five seconds so let me do that for you first of all. So I'm going to press the window all the way down and then I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five. Once you let go, take the window all the way back up again, holding it and then do a count of five once the window closes again. So let me show you all the way up. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can let go of the switch. So that should now, hopefully, be programmed. Let me show you, let me see. So we can do small increments, up and down. But if I press the switch and let go, see, hand, window goes all the way down. And again, if I, window goes all the way up again. It's as simple as that. I hope that works for you if you found that that's been a problem when you've had your battery changed. And uh, good luck. Check out my other videos. Like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It all counts. Thank you. Bye for now.